What's up everyone, my name is Chris Lou, and welcome to an absolute classic. I am a huge sucker for the classics. This is the original Legend of Zelda from the 1986 that is on the NES version. I Again, I'm a sucker for the classics. I love these classic games, the ones that I grew up with, given I didn't play this one until just a few years ago. I knew of it, just never tinkered with it. But, uh, we're going to be playing this. This, is a lot, this looks like a lot of fun. Um, I've seen videos of it, so... Again, I know the story, I know how this game works, but... I just love sucker. I'm a sucker for the classics. I'm gonna try to do this once a week, um, cause I wanna stay grounded and rooted in adventure games, which is what I wanna start doing from now on. I'll do horror games here and there, but I wanna keep adventure games as kind of, like, my core. So we're gonna go ahead and get this started. Um, there we go. So we're gonna... Select that, and then we're gonna just enter my name. Uh, we'll just call it Chris. And that'll do it. Um, am I doing something wrong here? There we go. I guess that was it. All right, so we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and select that. I'm using a keyboard, by the way. All right, so we got all that set up, and I know the first place to go in here is get the sword. Take this. All right. Huzzah! God, look at that distorted face. And he just vanishes. All right, so I know a little bit of the layout of uh, this this map area. I kind of know where certain things are. All right, cool. Sweet, right off the bat. Getting some coinage, yo. Ow! Now I have to sort. Now I have to manually beat the hell out of these things. All right, so I guess root the peas will do. So I got nothing. Nothing. No hearts. Alright, so we'll deal with that. Ow. Now I do know I do remember my dad telling me a lot about this game and that it is very unforgiving. Like you will die. You will die a lot. It will suck. We already got a first death. <laughs> Okay, we're going to make it a thing where we don't have to fight everything. Alright, so yes, I got the sword. Alright. We got rupees, all the goods. So let's just make our way out of here. Just make it to the necessary temple and get out of here. Oh, God, these things. There we go. Full health. Again. Gonna run away from these things. We're here to get to the temple, not dick around. Up we go. I think I might be... Yep, I'm in the wrong... I think I'm in the wrong... Yeah, I'm in the wrong spot. But, I'm at least on the right path. I've always kind of... Ever since I started getting into game design, I've kind of... Ah, uh, shit. I've kind of always wanted to make, like, a 2D scroller like this. I am in the desert. That is not a place we need to be. Ah, oh, God, I'm gonna die. Not unless I can kill one of these things. Damn! Unforgiving. Alright, so at least we know where to go to get to the forest temple. You just barely avoided that. And no, we don't need to go there. We need to go up. And go this way. I think. I think this is the right way. I want to say yes. I think so. Fantastic. All right, so we found a great fairy. Awesome. New discoveries. 
What is that? Let's see what's down here. Buy something, will ya? Knew it. I don't have half of the items required for that. For any of those. Honestly, I'm just wandering in circles now, hoping I land on something important. And of course, I'm in... Ow, I'm in the desert again. At least I think this is the de Yeah, I'm in the desert. I need to get out of the desert. Alright, so let's see... I'm dying. I know. I think I'm going the right way now. I think I am going the right way. Let's go this way. See what's this way. Oh, I thought he was going to shoot at me. That's why I held still. Damn it. Alright, so let's just continue. Now, I do like to admit that I am a big fan of, like, again, I'm a big fan of classics. So I, I'm a big fan of seeing where games have come from. So I like to, that's one of the reasons I like the classics, is because I like to see where the games have come from over the years. I like to see the humble beginnings of everything I know and love. Why does that not sound pleasant? Am I the only one that did not find that pleasant? Ugh! I'm just getting wrecked. Alright, so we're gonna go around. What's this way? I don't think this is anything of any particular importance, but we're gonna at least try to get through a first dungeon somewhere. There we go. What's this? Is this another buy something thing? I don't have that kind of money, bro. I'm already at half my yeah, there's a Oh god. Yo oh, god. How many times am I going to die in this game? Ugh. Maybe I do need to just like, wander until I hit something. Rather than trying to follow any one set path. Ah! Later dude. This is getting very tedious, and very annoying, very quick. There's another, probably buy something will you, dude. I keep saying it like that as if it's not just a shop owner. Ouch. Alley-oop. Okay, yeah, we ain't having any of that. Yeah, that, that's one of those things that's just like, uh, yeah, no. Ah, <laughs> oh, sweet. Thank you, Great Fairy. You have done me a great service today. As I run headfirst into the nearest bastard. Now, see where this takes me. Gotta kill one of these things. Probably another great fairy or something. Nope. Nothing special. I'm dying again. Because I'm too dumb. Oh god, this is the Lost Woods. We are totally not getting in here. I do not feel like getting totally screwed over. I know this game. 
I know this. I know this bull crap. That doesn't help me now. Heal me, lady. Alright, so hopefully we can find... Because uh, I remember playing uh, playing it a couple years back. And I got to the, like, the forest temple. Uh, don't run away from me like that, damn it! I needed you. Ugh. And of course I get wrecked before I find anything. Thank you. So generous. Lot of wandering around to do. That's one of the, the, the bad things about every Zelda game that, that was like in the early 90s and 80s is because they were just focused so much on wandering around until you hit something. Which, believe you me, is already a tedious task in and of itself. I think I can only hit those guys with like a bow or something. Fantastic. Alright, so this is something at the least. Yet again in the... Nothing happened there, we just wandered around until we find it. We totally didn't die two more times trying to find it. I had to look up a map on Google just to be able to find out where this tree is, and it turns out it wasn't too far from where we were already wan uh, wandering. That didn't happen at all, no, no. We're already here, we're here, we're here, we're good. Let's continue, shall we? Into the mouth of a tree. Alrighty, so we are just gonna... Another thing about old Zelda games, is, or at least in this one, they didn't have any set direction to go just went somewhere and stuff happened that's one thing I'm trying to do with my game is that there is no um, set direction you really need to go but you know there's a helpful way to go I'm gonna move that out of my way a bit protection value scary tents rupees Ouch. More rupees. Fantastic. Alrighty. See, these kind of games would be so easy to make. And I understand why there's a lot of 2D game developers out there. Just because the, the environment would be very easy to, have, to be able to make. Pixelated, top-down, not to worry about all 3D environments and stuff. Now I have to get up and personal with this guy. Fantastic. I remember hearing about this this item, the the time stopper. Fantastic again. It's one of the single most powerful items in the game because it freezes everybody in place. Ouch. Fantastic. Opens the door back up right behind me. Very fast moving bastards. Alright. Can't get to there, so I need something. Ugh. Ow. Not even dropping a heart, bro. Whatever's in here better drop a heart. Dropped a heart and gave me a boomerang. Awesome. What's over here? Oh, floor masters.
Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, all the way at the start. God, you bastards. Such bastards. Screw it, not going after him. Such bastards. Keys don't drop crap. Got a heart. And immediately lose it. Ow! Take that. What's this way? More. Ugh. Alright. I gotta remember that that's a thing. Come on, come on. Or at least it puts me at the beginning of the dungeon. I don't know what that red thing over there is for, but, you know. Alright. Alrighty. I'm gonna see where it leads, if anywhere. There we go. More monies. This leads nowhere. And this leads to a whole bunch of nowhere, too, that I don't want to be at. Alright, so... That's right, the compass was over there. No, I already got the compass. Why is it blinking, then? Let's see why it was red. Fantastic. I do have a key. Oh god, not these things. Ugh, that's what that was. Alright, so we got this. Ah! Okay, so we gotta fight this freaking dragon thing. Ugh. Aha! Victory is mine. Fantastic. And there's a piece of the Triforce! In this one, Zelda broke it up into eight pieces. Alright, that puts an end to that. My god. Hold on, let me kill this thing. <laughs> Alright, that was part one of our playthrough of The Legend of Zelda on the NES in 1986. That was the tree temple, the forest temple, I guess. Thank you guys so much for watching. I would give a link to this game in the description, but you'd have to find find this online or uh, find this at a at your local retro game store. Um, but yeah, that's going to be in the description. Er, just go to your local game store. Uh, link to the National Alliance on Mental Illness will be in the description, as will the uh, National text uh, suicide prevention lifeline and the national text crisis national suicide text crisis line if you or someone you know is suffering feel free to make those resources available i highly implore it uh, be sure to like comment subscribe if you guys have anything you want me to play adventure horror or otherwise please let me know and as always thank you guys so much for watching see you guys later